Hello and welcome to MacGyver's Grant Public Library Storytime Tuesday. My name is Vanessa Kane. I'm Children's Director here at MacGyver's Grant Public Library and today we're going to share the book Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away. It's a new book here in the library. It came in in February. The author's name is Meg Medina and she's a Newbery medalist which means she's already done some really good books before. It's illustrated by Sonia San Sanchez and here you see two really good friends and have you ever had a good friend move away? When I was a little girl we moved from central New York to Auburn, Alabama. I was at the end of my third grade year and I was so excited my parents came back and told us all about what our new home was going to be like and then I realized that my best friend from the backyard, our backyards connected, wasn't coming with me. That was kind of an odd feeling. It's kind of strange to think that maybe you won't live right across the street from somebody that you'd love to play with anymore. But the world, we have learned this last year that the world is a lot smaller place now that we have all this technology. So it, a lot of times you can still stay in touch. That's a nice thing. So this book is called Evelyn Del, Del Rey is Moving Away. And let's find out what happens with these two friends when one of them has to move. Here's some butterflies and hearts. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. This book was published by Candlewick Press. Evelyn Del Rey is my major amiga, my numero uno best friend. Come play Daniela, she says, just like she always does. Just like today is any other day. I want to ask you when we are looking at these pictures, if you notice where we live here in West Tennessee. We don't live in a very urban area. We've got we've got a little bit of a city. We have some apartments, but this looks like an urban area to me. So I bundle up and cross the street. A big truck with its mouth wide open is parked at the curb, ready to gobble up Evelyn's mirror with the stickers around the edge and her easel for painting on rainy days and the sofa that we bounce on to get to the moon. There she is coming out of her building. See all the fall leaves. Oh my goodness, look at that big truck and all those belongings getting ready to be put into it and I love how it says it's mouth wide open parked at the curb ready to gobble up Evelyn's belongings have you ever thought of a truck gobbling up I imagine that's what she's thinking because she's gonna lose her friend so it can't be a very happy way to think about the truck taking her belongings away is it She's waiting for me inside the iron doors. Then we climb the steps, two at a time, just like we always do. So there she is in the apartment building, and they go up the steps, two at a time, and they're going through the hallway. We sneak back past grouchy Mr. Miller's door and wave to Mr. Sue, who's feeding the pigeons from the hall window. Sen Senora Flores gives us each a cookie and says, it's a big day when we walk by all the people they're passing in the hall and they're, they're getting a cookie and it is a big day isn't it it's moving day let's see what happens our apartments are almost twins just like us that's why i already knew all the good places for hide and seek and the spot behind the heater where we keep our special finds they're packing things up you see those boxes the apartment's starting to look empty Looks like her friend is pulling her into her room. But the walls in Evelyn's room are sunny yellow while mine are pink like cotton candy. And I live with my mommy and my hamster and she has a mommy, a puppy, and a cat. We are mostly the same, just like our apartments, but not after today. And there's the pink bubblegum room. Oh, look, they can look right out their windows to each other's rooms and there's her pretty yellow bedroom. Here's her cat. Can you see the hamster over here? I think I see a hamster cage. We find a still empty box near the door. In no time, I am a bus driver steering us all over the city. We play until the tables that were bus stops are gone and the beds that were skyscrapers have vanished too. When we look around, everything has disappeared except us. And they are playing together one last time in Evelyn's room. And there they are when they realize that everything else is gone except them. 
Soon the truck outside rumbles off, and there's a knock at the door. Hide, we say, giggling, just like we always do. But our mothers see us before we can slip away. Time to go, Mommy says. Here's their mommies. Looks like they're friends too, doesn't it? And there they are, hiding in their box. The last thing in the room. Evelyn and I, and I hold hands in that wide, empty space. We lean back and start to spin in circles, faster and faster until everything is a blur around us. Our fingers slip, but we don't let go until we wobble to the floor. We can talk every day after school, I tell her, though the world is still whirling. And you can come visit me this summer, she says, and spend the night. on the floor after they got so dizzy. But I know that tomorrow everything will be different. Evelyn will be in a new home that doesn't match mine. There she is looking out her bedroom window and there's Evelyn at her new home. It doesn't look just the same anymore, does it? I wonder if her room will be yellow. What do you think? Before we leave, I spot something in the corner left behind in the dust. It's the last of Evelyn's sparkly stickers. We go downstairs and I press a heart on her cheek to seal our promise. And then she does mine just the same. And there they are, putting stickers on each other's faces so that they'll remember. And there's that rest of the page with all the writing on it. I like it when they do that, when they have the writing right on the page with the illustration. We say, patata, while mommy takes a photo. We do our secret handshake one more time. And then Evelyn hugs me hard. There's their, doing their secret handshake. And there is their good friendship hug. It's gonna have to last a little while this time, isn't it? Evelyn Del Rey is moving away, so she won't be right here anymore getting in their van. She looks sad. Mommy says not to be sad, that we will both make new friends. But when Evelyn waves one last time, the sticker's still on her cheeks. I know she will always be my first major amica, my numero uno best friend. the one I will always know by heart. And if you look at this picture, can you tell a difference in this picture in the age of the little girl? Can you tell? Let me pick, I'm gonna turn that page back and let you look. There she is hugging her mama when Evelyn moved away. And there she is. Doesn't she look much older? She's got some letters there. It looks like they kept in touch, doesn't it? It looks like they still know each other by heart and they're still best friends. I think that's wonderful, don't you? I think that happens a lot nowadays, especially when we can FaceTime each other and we can call each other on the phone a little bit better. We can see each other a lot more, can't we? And you remember that friend I was telling you about that I moved away from in New York? Do you know I'm still friends with her today? It's been a very long time since I moved away from New York, but we are still friends. When I go up there, we get to see each other. If she passes us through here, we get to see each other and we get to keep track of each other because of technology. We get to talk on the phone every once in a while. We get to see each other on Facebook. It's really a wonderful thing, isn't it? So you can celebrate your friendships. Even if your friend has to move away, you can celebrate what, what you got to do together when you lived close, and you can keep that friendship going, can't you? I think that's a wonderful, wonderful lesson from this book. I like this book. Okay, so I'm gonna um, hope you have a good week and that you are celebrating your friends, whether they live near or far away, and you have a great time and I'll see you next week.